What is going on, everybody? Soliday Holiday here, and we are back with a new Kenshi series. And what I mean by a new Kenshi series is I mean an old Kenshi series that we're redoing because your boy might have accidentally deleted the save file. Might have happened. Can't, can't deny nor confirm. But we're back with a new Kenshi series, and we're going to be restarting our Martial Monk series. And so today I have added... A new mod pack to Kenshi so instead of like the 15 mods that we have there's this mod pack that's out on the Steam Workshop I don't know if you guys have seen it or not but it's called the Age of Blood and Sand it is by Krav I think that's how you say his name it's C-R-O-V-V-V -V -V. and so what he's actually done is he has put 300 different mods together and made them compatible with one with one another and pretty much completely revamped the game it changes everything so this is not only going to be a new series but it's going to kind of be a spotlight mod so with this new series instead of doing like the preset uh starts that are available i have decided to make my own start and it kind of has to do with the last series but with this new series it's going to be a skeleton with his tiger we got the little martial art martial arts tiger so we are going to be starting and going ham with this little guy and my plan, my plan for this series, right, is first of all, we're going to go and make some money because this mod does make everything a little bit more difficult. So I have, uh, I have put the hunger time up to, I believe five or six, I can't exactly remember. And the chance of the number of nests up to 2.1. So that's what the statistics and all that kind of stuff are. But what we're going to do is we're going to make some money real quick and we're going to just acquire as much money as we can because most people to recruit cost about 7,000 in this mod. So uh, there's a bunch of different new characters. And what I want to do is I want to make it so that way we have a solid squad of about, I don't know, somewhere in between 15 and 20 individuals that are all martial uns, <clears throat> excuse me, martial monk experts. And we're just going to be a squad of like 20 or so people that just, go go ham run around going crazy and we're going to go through the martial arts storyline and all that fun stuff so i cannot wait to get this started i'm going to cut back once we get a little bit of money and i'm so excited to start this with you guys all right all right everybody so as uh i know i said that i'd be right back it's only been like two minutes like i only have three copper right but this is one of the cool things about this mod is it adds so much like it adds giraffes right which are big things but they just got little spots on them right and uh but they're actually like herbivores they don't actually fight you or anything like that but one of the things that it also adds is this bone dog alpha right here as you can see it's <laughs> it's pretty big it's a pretty big thing and so it's got a whole lot more health it drops a whole lot better loot any everything like that so what we're gonna do is we're going to go and help out these martial artists even they're not going even though they're not going to need it but still try to get some xp out of it which it doesn't even look like we're going to all right so now that it is dead what we're going to go ahead and do is take all its loot and it, dr it drops the, all the alphas drop this alpha blood vial and to be 100% honest I don't know what they do but um i'm sure that they'll be used for something later down the road so uh before we go ahead and continue making more money and all that kind of stuff trying to get more people what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and join the martial arts uh, the Mar martial village that's what we're going to do we're going to head and join them we're going to talk to the good old buddha this beautiful this beautiful individual right here we're going to go ahead and talk to him and in case you haven't seen my first series uh, I don't know how to say this guy's name right here. I don't know how to say that. So I've been calling him the Buddha. But look at these skills. He has 147 martial arts, 122 in strength, and 216 in dexterity. That's absolutely insane. But he's the leader of the martial arts. So I guess that's... But he is a golden peacock. He is a diamond in the rough right there. So we're going to go ahead and talk to him. Go ahead and join the martial village and get moving right along and after many moons another skeleton drifter has come to our humble home we're gonna go ahead and go with bows i want to get stronger i wish to learn from your exalted martial arts and so it and so it is 
doesn't beat around the bush. A virtuous heart does not bend to material things, but climbs onto heaven's dome. Fear not to pain, but to dispel suffering. Please enlighten me. Our village always welcomes your kind of spirit. We preach freedom and a healthy life. If you wish to join us, you will become enemies against those who are against those values. I loathe those I loathe those who shackle freedom and discriminate other races. I'm an open minded skeleton. All right, and we're against pretty much the slave the slave hunters, man hunters, most of the uh, slavers. We're we're a hundred percent against them. Joins hands in a mandra gashu seal. You may always be welcome. Blessings. You are no longer a drifter. Thank you. And so we're gonna go ahead and talk to him again. He's gonna give him give us some stuff, right? A new monk initiated. You may follow your elders. Outside is plagued with danger. Grow strong, my child. All right, so he already gave us the he already gave us the stuff. We are now martial monk allies. Let's go. Now we can use their, their facilities. We can use their training gear, all that kind of stuff. So we're definitely going to take advantage of that. But we'll go ahead and read this monk, uh, not the monk farmer's milk, but that look at that nutrition though. 200 nutrition. That is at the monks have figured out they got food cubes that have like 250 nutrition, which is actually insane. But we're going to go ahead and read this monk parchment initiate. Initiate, you may fall to suffering in this unending, dangerous land. If you've not known it, great is your destruction. Those who have known it, they become immortal. You may seek the light, that though you will have to dwell in the darkness. As for the rest, only suffering awaits them. When a being rightly sees... He sees no death, no sickness, or distress. When a being rightly sees, he sees all. He wins all completely. I believe you will learn to explore yourself. Believe in your increasing force. Ancient script, scripture, the Tigerfist battle technique drawings. So as far as I know, you can't really do anything with this. I don't know. I think it's just a little bit of lore, all that kind of stuff. So uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is I know the first objective because I've already been through this part I've already been through this part. So um, the first objective is actually to get an animal skin and bring it to the Buddha. So since we already have that, we're going to try to talk to him and become the next part of the monks. I think it might be apprentice. Welcome back, my child. Grand ancestor, I wish to learn more and grow stronger. Please enlighten my path. Oh, you've gotten the animal skin sunlight, sunlighted and moon shined. Marvelous. Yes, I did it. <laughs> be proud of me dad uh good work child smiles you are now a monk apprentice all right so let's check out the monk apprentice apprentice although all of you are my dear disciples and you have become members of the village for some time you have barely grasped a tip of understanding this pile of skins you have belonged to my ancestor from former lives they could have been my parents and many past lives that is the reason i now bow to them Ancient scripture, the repentance of the wolf's howl, a sound tracking technique, study it under the ancestor statue to augment, augment your perception drawings. All right. So then can we do something with that? Is this the ancestor statue? All right. So let's go over here and see if we can actually do anything with this. Where's tiny at? Yo, tiny. Don't be hanging out by the gates like that. You're going to get messed up. All right, so we might hang out here for a little bit and see if there's anything that we can actually do with this. All right, well, I don't know what we can do with it, but since we are a little hurt, we're going to go ahead and go into this hospital. It looks like they're fighting out there, so we're probably going to go and try to loot those guys so that way we will uh, make a little bit more money. It's a little bit faster because our we are at base one with all of our stuff, so... Um, our laboring is real freaking slow. So if we can get some animal skins or anything like that, that would be most welcome. So, okay. It looks like there's a lot of stuff out there that we, that we're going to try to go ahead and loot. What is this? All right, let's go ahead. Who is this? That's, is that? All right, let's go ahead and attack this giraffe. You, you too tiny and worse comes to worse. We'll, oh. Okay, I guess we're not going to attack the giraffe. All right, so let's go ahead and have Tiny follow Solid A. 
And we're gonna do everything that we can to keep Tiny alive. He's gonna be our mascot. He's gonna be our guy in this game. So we're gonna try to keep him alive for as long as possible. I'm gonna keep one goat's milk so that way we can give it to Tiny. So this is another part of this mod pack is that there are half eaten uh, ancient science book, half eaten science book, like dismantled AI cores and that kind of stuff throughout this game. And what you can do is you can, uh, you can, I think it's two, two of the ancient science books. You can put them together with some parchment. I don't think that this uh, bar has any parchment, but what you can put them together to make um, an ancient science book. And it's cheaper to buy the, half eaten also it's cheaper and also they're a lot more common than regular so it makes it a little bit more difficult to find ancient science books and to progress throughout the game all right so let's go ahead and loot loot some people see if we can get into any trouble over here all right wow then let's head up here hopefully we don't die because that would suck well i think that we're going to try to do is like i said recruit as many people as possible right and then also get everybody up to their max level that they can be through training and that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and sell this stuff, see if we can make a little bit of money. We're gonna try to get a lot of money because I'm not kidding when I say most people are like 7,000 or so. So hopefully by then, Tiny will be no longer a pup and we can get moving right along i don't know how the animals when they're pups i don't know if it's gaining skills if that's how what makes them of all like grow up right or if it's just time so we'll have to try to figure that out and see what we can do with that all right so we got we got almost 5k and that's okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna train up a little bit i'm gonna get a couple i'm gonna get a little bit of iron and not iron a little bit of copper so that way we can make some money and we'll probably go to um i believe that there's a village in this area we'll probably go there and try to recruit some people and get them trained up also and we'll just keep repeating that process until we got a good squad of people and then from there i'm my goal is to go ahead and build a base and so that way we can train up there and we can start establishing ourselves and also continuing along with the monk quest line then of course attacking their enemies so that's our goals for the direct future so that is what i'm gonna go ahead oh is he dead let's go let's go oh all right so that's my goals for the direct future and i'm just gonna go ahead and cut back if anything interesting does happen and i'll see you guys in a little bit so i'm looking around the village just hanging out uh doing all the stuff that i need to do and guess who i stumble upon if you watched my last series you will know exactly who this is this is greg the escapist our lord our savior in so many different instances he is a boss but it does not look like we are able to talk to him and try to get him on our side at this time so at least he's alive at least he's doing well he's thriving and that's what matters so at least you guys know that he's still good and he's working his best okay i i'm gonna go ahead and like try to see if there's anybody that i can talk to see if there's any interesting conversations while i'm here also so i'll cut back if there is all right so i stumbled upon this thief boss and we're gonna talk to him and he looks like it looks like there's some pretty interesting things it there's i want to join you so you want to join uh you want in on the shinobi eh the guards trying to lay the crack down, but they ain't fooling nobody. They're nothing. Nothing a few cats nothing a few cats can't handle. That's nice, but you still haven't told me how I can join you. Uh you can join for a fee. Is it the ten thousand? Ten thousand cats. Uh maybe some other time. So I still want to talk to him. Because he looks looking for work. Nothing I need to bail someone out. So we can pay bounties. That's pretty interesting. That's really cool. That's really interesting. That'll be really good to know for the future. I'm really curious about what the work is. Yeah, let's just do it. I might have something up for you if you want. There are those who would pay good money for uh, capturing. Uh, Not right now. Maybe later. Okay. It's good to know. That's good to know. All right. This is the person that I actually wanted to talk to. Looks very interesting. I'm pretty excited to see what it is because we all know who Beep is. So I want to figure out who Meep is. Meep! 
<laughs> Meep the crippled genius. Dot dot dot. How did you know it was me? I am genius. I'm a crippled genius. Um, I just figured it out because you were mumbling that in your ho ho ho. You know about my muscles adventures, right? I lost my left arm trying to hunt an elder gutter. Nods proudly. Of course you seem like good seed. Ugh. Nods rapidly. You are right. I will be the best martial artist in the world. I will show those from the hive that have ex that exiled me who's the boss when I get stronger. Really? Can you join me? I'm looking for a good martial artist. Only if you promise I will be the best martial artist in the world. I don't want your weapons. Rest proudly his eyes in the horizon. Of course. Come. Let's go together and explore. All right. Well, we got Meep. That's pretty cool. Let's look. Oh, wow. He's crap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting him to be good. I was expecting him to be like somewhat already okay. You know what I mean? He's not. <laughs> All right. All right. So we got Meep. That's pretty interesting. That's really cool. So I'm going to continue to try to talk to people, see what's going on, see if there's anything else that's really interesting. And I will probably have Meep just going away, just going ham on some copper resource all right so i will cut back all right so while i've been mining and all that kind of stuff i've been collecting loot and also looking for interesting people in the village throughout the village to talk to and i found this gentleman right here the ancient grand elder so what i want to do is i actually want to send holiday holiday over to talk to him it's probably going to take a minute because overloaded but increases that strength though They're already at five strength so i want to talk to that grand ancient grand elder so hopefully we get there sometime today sometime today all right ancient grand elder <clears throat> i've traveled far and i've seen many things monk apprentice i found joy in my path as monk when i met the old ancestor but time is a curse for me as he left this world and i'm still wandering it um how old are you the great ancestor must have treated you dearly for how you remember him why are you grand elder and not an ancient and why not are you a grand elder and not an ancestor um how old are you i'm just 1200 years old quite the youngin for my rust but my memory is somehow i don't remember much back in my time um there seems to be a cable and some sparks behind your head is that fine <laughs> um uh, I could I should repair it as soon as possible, but if you bring me a CP unit, it will accelerate the process. I will only need to plug it in for a minute and maybe I can bring some memories back along the way. Let's try to talk to him, see if there's any more that we can get out of him. What are you doing? Talk to him. Alright. Uh the old uh, let's go with the old ancestor must have treated you dearly for how you remember him. Sigh, that is right. He saved me and repaired me when I was on the verge of collapse in that war. He suppressed thousands of foes with just his voice, and he summoned thunder that expelled the evil of those lands. That is incredible. I wish I could defeat so many enemies with just my voice. Ascend, and you will know, my dear young, my dear monk apprentice. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's more loot. All right, so I'm gonna send Soliday Holiday back, and like I said, we're just looting. We are just uh mining that kind of stuff try to save up as much money as we can we already have ten thousand, so that's a good start so i will cut back once something interesting happens or if i saw, find someone interesting to talk to also all right everybody so we currently have thirty-one thousand cats right and i think that that in my opinion that's good enough to try to go to the next village uh, the closest city or whatever so that way we can go ahead and pick up some extra people and more people means more money either mining or looting and all that kind of stuff and training and everything so we're gonna go ahead and try and run to this next village to pick up some more people and so that way we can just keep moving along with our plan so I think that there's a city somewhere in this area so that is the goal and we're gonna try not to die at the same time I'm extremely nervous about this, actually. I should have probably trained up some of our skills before I went through this, but I... Who's that? All right, hopefully they don't attack us. But, um, yeah, I probably should have trained up some of our skills before I went on this little adventure. But that being said, it is what it is. I wanted to try to get as many people as possible first and then trade up. So... 
I will cut back once we get to what is it, Cat Catoon? Because this mod does make it sometimes so that it's it does take a minute to load in a city. So I will cut right back once we're in the city. All right. So as you can see, we are actually in Catoon or Catoon, Catun, whatever. So what we're gonna do is find a bar. There's a bar, and we are gonna go ahead and see if there's anybody that we can recruit. Have. All right, there's Max. He doesn't look half bad. There's some mercenaries. Diplomatics, global pacifier for the United Cities. All right, Nathaniel Drifters. Bar guard. All right, let's talk to Max right here. If you got the cats, I've got the skills. 7,500 cats and you've got yourself a killing machine. The machine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take Max. And if you... I'm going to say it once and I'll probably say it in another episode and all that kind of stuff. But if you do want to be a part of this adventure, put your name in the comments, say what you want to be. If you want to create a backstory, I will be happy to read that backstory for that character on the video. So yeah, if you want to be a part of this adventure with me, let me know. All right, Max, you're a short little guy. Let's keep you short. Let's keep you a short little guy. Why not? And let's first things first, let's sell that weapon of yours. All right, got his weapon sold. We got another individual, which is great. All right, it looks like a couple more people that we're going to be able to hire have come in. Oh, I thought that was, I'm not going to lie, I thought that was Greg for a hot second, and I got real excited. What'd they just say? Uh, Did you hear Ten Fist struck the stone camp last night? Time to make some cat, oh, shh, keep your voice down. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, let's talk to Teresa right here. Theresa, Teresa, pretty sure it's gonna be Teresa, right? Oh, maybe. Anybody hears you spreading stories about that guy, you'll be beaten to the ground. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to talk to Teresa, sadly. He's got a cool shirt. All right, let us try to talk to Carrie. You need followers? I'll follow for 4,000 cats. Ever since I left the hive, I've struggled to survive without a master. Okay, you're hired. Carrie, first things first, we're going to sell that. Having having a hiver as martial artist kind of scares me a little bit because I know that like they lose limbs very easy. So that, that sucks, but we'll make do. We will make do. Oh, this rogue UC trader. These guys are really cool, actually. They're pretty much in every single bar in every single city, but they sell really interesting gear. Like, they sell all blacked out gear, which, you know, gives that sneak bonus. So we might take advantage of that sometime. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. We're not going to buy them right now. We need to worry about getting people first. But that is something to keep in mind for the future. Retired tech hunter Yama. What the? F that person is amazing. Hey there, traveler. Haven't seen you before. Come on over here and take a seat. Let's exchange tales. Sure, why not? The two of you exchange stories of danger, treasure, and loss. Until the retired tech hunter pauses for a moment, she then slams down yet another grog like it was a drinking contest. Wow, you really know how to drink, eh? Say you must have known some secret, untouched places to find old tech, right? What do you take me for? Some sort of amateur? Of course I've got some runes I never got to loot. Any tech hunter that's lived long enough to tell stories about it like me, well, we're smart enough to know what a ruins is too what ruins are too dangerous to loot. Anyways, I only ever scouted out the area. It's crawling with skeletons. Hard to tell if you're if they're the weak or strong kind, but the problem with finding out the answer to that question is as soon as you find out and they happen to be strong, you're shit out of luck. So I said that and took my squad off to find safer ruins oh wow that sounds too enticing to avoid i want to know what kind of treasure is inside yeah probably but i wouldn't suggest going in that place not unless you have a team of experienced warriors and don't mind risking don't mind to risk losing an arm well would you care to share the location of that place Pfft. well i'll tell you what i like you so i'll tell you how to get there if you buy me some drinks what do you say well fine but you better not be lying about this place the two of you drink a few rounds of sake. Ah, that was delicious. All right, so here's how you get there from here. 
Go southeast from the city and keep walking here in the boneyards until you see the land land form some large hills and cliffs that almost look like they are fo they form a hollow circle almost you'll find the building in the circle around what looks like some so sort of old mining equipment buried in the sand by time it's a mystery to me how that strange vault managed to not get buried by the sand too spooky for my blood Ooh, that sounds mysterious i just gotta have something good in it thanks see you later all right cool beans that was interesting that was really cool all right, let's see if anybody else in here wants to join. Got got Felicia over here. She might be able to join. We got Irving right there. He's got he's already missing a leg. All right, we got a couple more people. Let's talk to Allison right here. You looking at my scar? It's rude to stare, you know. But since I'm in a cheery mood, buy me a drink and I'll tell you how I got it. Um, how? Honestly, open a can with my sword. <laughs> Uh, slipped and nearly took my eye out. Usually, though, I tell people I fought a ninja lord or something. I mean, I do a, I do Twilight as a hitman as and all. You still fight? You want to make some cats? Not professionally, but I freelance, so to speak. And, uh, well, for 6,000 cats, I'll cut down who you want when you want. I like your style. Fall in. Cool. We got ourselves Allison. That's an interesting hairstyle. Well, there's Allison. All right, we got another squad member. We still got 14,000, so we need to make do. Let's try to sell her weapon, see if we can't get that extra little bit that we're going to need for people. Show me what you got. Sell. All right, well, we still got 14,000. <laughs> All right, let's get everybody out but Soliday Holiday, so that way we can see a little bit better in here. There's Teresa over here. We have Irving right there and Felicia over here. Let's try to go for Irving and Felicia. Are you up from out of town? I'm in venture, yes. I got myself into trouble with some nobles of all people. Shoot! God knows what they'll do to me. Haul me off to the vault, cut my tongue out, break my legs. Well, you're already missing one leg. You think you can help me? I need to get out of here. How can I help? I need bribe money. The guards will never let me out. walk out of here without payment. 3,000 cats should do. Do you think you can help me? I'll be indebted to you for the rest of my life if you do this for me. Here, 3,000. Increase that. All right, we got Irving. Cool. Irving, you go ahead and head out here. All right. And let's talk to Felicia. Interested in hiring an engineer traveler? I'm looking for work if you've got any. Sure, how much? 6,000 cats and you got yourself a fine laborer. Best in the city. Sure, come with me. All right, we got Felicia. What up, Felicia? All right, let's just go ahead and confirm. Let's try, let's try Teresa. They, squ they squirm agitated, agitatedly. You from the sands? I'm an adventurer, yes. I've got myself some troubles. Oh, we already did this. I'll help you. 3,000 cats, cool. I'll tell you what, if, who is it? If, what's her name? Azumi is 3,000 cats. That would... Oh, we're, we're short. Let's try to sell her weapon. See if that'll sell for anything. Alright, sold for 100. Did I sell... I did not sell Azumi or Irving's weapon. Alright, let's see if we can get these two in here. Sell their weapon to get enough for 3,000. Oh yeah. All right. So we got enough for three thousand. Hopefully she's three thousand. Watch, she's gonna be six thousand. All right. Hey there. I need employment. I can fix you up, but I really need a someone to sponsor my research. Sponsor? But you're just a kid, and you're an adult. A stupid one at that. <laughs> All right. All right. Good as. What could you know about deciphering genetic core wiring? Salt. All right. All right. That's a whole lot of. I can appreciate a good brain. How about you come with us? 2,500 cats. That's easy. Let's go. All right. Let's sell her weapon. All right. And let's get everybody outside. All right. What is that? What is that? A lizard bird? It's so small. That's an adult. All right. I've never seen that before. That's awesome. 
All right, here is our ragtag group of individuals that we're going to start out with. Hopefully, we'll get some more. How many do we have right now? We have two, four, does tiny count? Yeah, tiny counts. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, we have 10 people already, and I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do truly appreciate you. I'm back. I can't wait to get started and go ham on this uh, new series, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one.